Jeffree Star is like that pesky 0.01% of germs that refuses to go away even after a hefty dose of hand sanitizer. Now, let's peel back the curtain on the latest in the influencer world, where things have taken a bizarre and nostalgic turn. Memories are slipping away, but the chatter around Jeffree and Trisha reconnecting is heating up. Trisha seems oddly intrigued by the idea of reviving frenemies, and it's causing quite the stir. But hold on to your seats, because Jeffree's not making things any less mysterious. He's out here posting photos with Trisha on his Instagram story fueling the flames of curiosity. What in the world is going on? And more importantly, what's about to go down? Let's address the elephant in the room. Fans are not thrilled about this reunion. They're feeling uneasy, not wanting Trisha to revisit her past, especially not with Jeffrey, considering all the drama he's stirred up in the past. Trisha's thriving right now, living her best drama-free life, and fans are rooting for her to keep it that way. But wait, Let's rewind a few weeks. Trisha Paytas spilled some serious tea on her podcast, chatting about Coachella and stirring up drama with her co-host Oscar. And guess what? Dramageddon reared its ugly head once again, with Trisha mentioning she'd have Jeffree Star on her podcast. Talk to him, like have him on the podcast. But I'm just also like, is that a bad idea? Like, you know, I don't know. I feel like, was our falling out bad? I don't know. I sometimes I don't remember either. Like, this is what I'm saying. I'm like, wait, sometimes I forget. I even <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I remember, but you know, sometimes you forget the severity of something. Totally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know either. Like, is it is either. it in, like inviting like to like uh, like it, to me? It wasn't even toxic, so I'm like, is this? But I'm like, God, I would like to know like what his life is like now in like Wyoming, or is yeah is that we just passed that point I, I mean honestly... me and Shane are past that point but I feel like me and Jeffrey I don't know fans were left scratching their heads when Jeffrey Star randomly shared old photos of him and Trisha on his Instagram story no explanation and no context talk about a curveball especially considering their last encounter wasn't exactly sunshine and rainbows, people couldn't help but wonder, what's Jeffrey's game here? Is he just trying to stir the pot, or is there more to it? Some speculated that Jeffrey might be trying to cozy up to Trisha because she's riding high on success right now. And hey, who wouldn't want to hitch a ride on that train? But fans weren't having it. They made it clear they weren't here for any kind of reunion, especially not after Jeffrey's track record of being a less than stellar friend. From talking smack behind Trisha's back to letting his employees join in on the fun, Jeffrey's past behavior didn't sit well with fans. And let's not forget the drama from last year. Trisha tried to extend an olive branch, saying she didn't even remember what went down between her and Jeffrey. She was just trying to keep the peace, you know? But Jeffrey didn't take too kindly to that. He went on a whole tirade, accusing Trisha of making up lies and trying to tarnish his reputation. Turns out, all the dirt on Jeffrey and Trisha's falling out didn't come from thin air. It came straight from the horse's mouth. You don't remember if we had beef? You don't remember how we had a falling out? literally made up the most vicious lies about me and tried to ruin my life. And at the time, everyone was bored and people entertained her lies. It was so horrible for my mental health. And this says she don't remember. That's crazy! Jeffrey's own friends and employees spilled the tea, confirming that he wasn't exactly the best buddy to Trisha. She tried to keep mum about their rift for ages, even standing by Jeffrey and Shane during their cancellation storms, which earned her a boatload of backlash. But then, Jeffrey's wig guy, Hair by Jay, decided to air out all the dirty laundry in a live stream, hurling insults and shame at Trisha for all to see. That was the last straw for Trisha, who finally came clean about the whole messy situation. She didn't set out to ruin Jeffrey. He managed that all on his own. Fast forward to last September, and Jeffrey's up to his old antics again, going off on Trisha in public. Fans didn't forget a single detail, and they're not about to let Trisha forget it either. So when Jeffrey suddenly starts posting cozy pics of him and Trisha on his Instagram story, you can bet Trisha's not keeping quiet about it. You guys forgot, it wasn't Trisha, it was Bill Burr that ruined my life. I guess I just miss my old friend. Anyway, whatever. But in truth, we're both doing well on our own. Yeah. And I'm ha and I'm happy for her pod her new podcast is doing really really well. Trisha's got mixed feelings about potentially patching things up with Jeffrey. While she might not view their fallout as harshly as her split with Shane Dawson, she's still wary of diving back into the friendship pool with Jeffrey. It's a tricky situation for Trisha, caught between her own feelings and the court of public opinion. Will she take the plunge and sit down with Jeffrey for a heart to heart? We shot would you have a reunion with Jeffrey? <laughs> I know we talked about this before and in the comments I was like, "No!" And it's like, I don't know. I'm so like on the fence with it. Cause it's like, cause my main issue was like, it was like a Jeffrey's like acquaintance. It wasn't really like Jeffrey, you know, I guess I had a little bit with Jeffrey, but it was you know, again, surface level, I guess. I don't know. I get it. And there's not like as much history between it. 
the two of you, it's like almost easier to forgive because it didn't go like that deep. Yeah, you know, like it was never that deep. deep. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little bit easier to like look past stuff. I have a little soft spot for Jeffrey when I see him on like TikTok and his little yak farm. I'm like, okay, like living your life out there in Montana. Like <laughs> Fans are raising some eyebrows, thinking that maybe Trisha's brushing off the intensity of her history with Jeffrey. But while she's busy reminiscing, there's chatter about revisiting the past, specifically the Frenemies podcast. It all started when Trisha liked a comment on TikTok suggesting a Frenemies reunion. She later unliked it, but the damage was done and fans were buzzing about it on all corners of the internet. Bring Frenemies back. She liked it. Yeah. But, so hold on. This was up, as I understand it, for a few hours. Mm -hmm. Then she unliked it. She did. What do you think happened? Do you think that she... She stuck her neck out and genuinely, and then she's like, oh, I'm nervous and unliked it, or was it an accident? I think um, the, the first option's beautiful. I think, you know, I think she was, I think she, no, I think genuinely, I think she's being sincere, and then uh, she was like, you know what, I just don't want to deal with, you know, thinking, overthinking it, and then people making a big deal about it, just let me just not. Yeah, I, when I saw this, I was like, wait, is that possible? But then I was like, mm, not really. It's, uh, it's just, it would be big. Oh, yeah. And we're both parents now. Isn't that great? Like, how, how much, you know, how much have we matured, I think, since, since oh, Frenemies yes. fell apart? I mean, oh we're both different people. Oh, my God. Ew. By now, you know. Ethan went on to say that it's sad to think about all of this because they're family members who don't get along. It's, our kids are, are cousins. And close in age. Close in age, we live in the same city. I mean, it's... And adorable. It's horrible. I mean, it's just, it sucks. It's horrible. It does. I feel, because my, whatever. It's not up to me. Ethan said that this was not happening. Frenemies was not coming back, but he did talk about a hypothetical of how it would go if they did. But the, the, when I saw her uh, like that, for the first time since it, it ended, I thought like, damn, what if? But here, if we did it, there'd have to be rules. There'd have to be rules. Rule number one, we cannot talk about anything that happened on the show before. That's over. Rule number two, no pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ground rules. He takes that 5%. <laughs> Bill Burr ruined Ethan's life. Yeah, you guys forgot. It wasn't Trisha. It was Bill Burr that ruined my life. I guess I just miss my old friend. Anyway, whatever. But in truth... And we're both doing well on our own. Yeah. And I'm ha and I'm happy for her pod her new podcast is doing really really well. Ethan stated that this was not going to happen, that frenemies would not return, but he did discuss a hypothetical scenario of what would happen if they did. But the, the when I saw her uh, like that for the first time since it it ended, I thought like, damn, what if? But here if we did it, there'd have to be rules. There have to be rules. Rule number 1, we cannot talk about anything that happened on the show before. That's over. Rule number two, no pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ground rules. He takes that 5%. <laughs> Bill Burr ruined Ethan's life. Yeah, you guys forgot. It wasn't Trisha. It was Bill Burr that ruined my life. I guess I just miss my old friend. Anyway, whatever. But in truth, we're both doing well on our own. Yeah, and I'm ha and I'm happy for her. Pod her new podcast is doing really, really well. Now, Trisha did not address liking the comment. But in her same podcast, discussing Jeffrey and nostalgia, and forgetting things from a long time ago, she mentioned having to make a list the other day to remind herself of why she didn't like someone. Which makes me wonder if it was about Ethan. And then sometimes you have to remind yourself. The other day, I had to make a list reminding myself of all the reasons I don't, like don't like someone. I was like, let me just make a list real quick because you know it's hard. Yeah. The nostalgia will get you. And yeah. you're like, yeah, maybe it could have been, bad. but from. Trisha reflecting on her past with Jeffrey to Jeffrey stirring the pot by posting old pics of them together. It's been a roller coaster ride. And let's not forget the whole frenemy situation. Will it or won't it make a comeback? Only time will tell. But hey, enough about what I think. I want to hear from you. What's your take on all this juicy gossip? Sound off in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more daily doses of messy video.